Lil Nas X became quite the sensation around the world with his country hip hop hit, Old Town Road. But his dad, Robert Stafford, says his son's road to stardom wasn't easy. But singing has been how this family copes through the good and bad times. Growing up, I lived with my mom and my grandma for a good chunk of my childhood. Then around like nine or 10, my dad got custody of me and my older brother. And at first I hated it so much because at my grandma's house, I could do whatever I wanted to. But when I got to my dad's house, it was like, uh, no, that's not gonna happen. And looking back, I think that helped me so much because I learned the concept of endurance and the fact that the world doesn't revolve around me. And that helped me grow mentally stronger uh, and prepare me for everything that's happening to me right now. And you know, in addition to that, like my dad always like saw me as like this really smart child, which, you know, I kind of was like not the two mountain horn. So when I got to college, and one year in decided, hey, I wanna do music. I didn't really expect him to support me, but my dad was really supporting me, like like avidly listening to my music, uh, even like paying my phone bill, though I didn't have a job at the time so that I could promote my music online and things like that. Uh, so for that, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful. My dad's, you know, he's not a perfect person but he's definitely my dad. <laughs> and I'm a better singer than him. Well, not actually, but you know, I love you, dad. Montero Lamar Hill, better known as Little Nas X, is an award-winning rapper, singer, writer, performer, born in Lithia Springs, Georgia. His first hit, a country rap, Old Town Road, took the music industry by storm. None of this surprised his father, Robert L. Stafford, a warehouse supervisor and a Christian music singer. He's got the whole world in his hands. What qualities of you are in him? Um, I think talent. We, we both are talented. We both have a vision. His vision is like out of this world. You know, he's just like once he put his mind on something, he, he goes for it. And you are. And I try to do it too, but um, lucky for him, he had the help that I didn't have. And so I think that made the difference. He had the um, father in his life. He had somebody pushing him and supporting him, you know, unlike me who didn't have that, that in his life. So that's why I decided it was the best thing. You know, when he, when he first told me he wanted to drop out of school to pursue a music career, I have never heard him sing one note but I knew I had to trust trust in him that he was knowing what he was he was doing. So I said, hey, I got your back. Go for it. For me, he's always been an achiever. He's always wanted to finish first in everything. He's always wanted to be the best. So I think whatever he put his mind to, I think he's gonna do it. And I just, and I'm just, honestly, I'm just a fan sitting back watching it myself. I follow him on Instagram like everybody else, and I'm like, did he just do that? <laughs> But you are a singer, and I'm guessing also a songwriter. Yes. So that talent really went from father to son. Yeah, that's just goes to show you never know how your kids is watching you. You know, they, they really watch you, you know, and you know, I guess he took he took what I couldn't finish and he took the baton and he ran with it, you know. So um I'm just I'm just happy for him. He laid it for his success. But there is one thing that you've had to deal with that many parents are having to deal with now. And, and I noticed that on your Instagram page that you talked about people who have negative things to say about your son when he came out as gay. How did you deal with that as a Christian singer and as a Christian? As a Christian, you, you, you have to understand that you're, you're not God. You know, I don't have a heaven and hell to put anyone in. so. And I, I support my son wholeheartedly. You know, I just pray to God, you know, I didn't like when he first came out. I was trying to get him to talk him out of it because I know this cruel world, how they treat um, the gay community, especially um, Christian, the Christian, so-called Christian community. They um, shine down on the homosexual community. But I think people are people. And um, you live your life on your turn and you let God be the judge. That's, that's how I look at it. So how has your son becoming a star affected you? Um, it, it really hasn't affected me much. I don't see him as a big star like everybody else, you know. 
I just see him as, I call him Doobie. We call his nickname is Doobie. <laughs> Well, it hasn't affected me at all because, you know, to me, just my baby boy. Only thing that changed, I know I have access to a little money, you know. <laughs> Whenever my pockets get low, I say, son, <laughs> I need a little spot. There have been other benefits. His podcast, producing a TV show featuring the mothers of famous people, and his singing career, once on the back burner to take care of his family, now is heating up. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some lonely nights. But when I, when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days outweigh my bad days and I, I won't complain. <laughs> you sing that like you really mean it. I really mean that. Ain't no need to complain. Good, you gotta take the good with the bad. That's what I tell my son. You gotta take the good with the bad. You just don't stay down. It's okay to be down, so get down, but you gotta get back up. Get back in the ring. Start back punching. That's how you stay on top. Hey!